This is um, theatre in education. This week we were looking into the, um, a new scene, the scene after the rope cutting, cutting scene and from research we found out that there are three major events happening on the raft. The first major event is the first night. On the first night there is a terrible storm, the belt, the uh, raft was going tilting, tilting waves, people trying to hold on to each other, there's something to hold on, there's a mass in the middle and people trying to hold on to that and hold to each other and people getting lost overboard and a lot died that night. Uh, we imagine people's legs got stuck uh, between the rafts, they must have, some people might have drowned, some might have drowned the boat, someone lost the raft and also provisions on the raft, they might have lost it, could have lost it, hold on to that for their life, so it must have been an awful night. The second thing was the second night, or the fight, I don't think the second night, it's around right a lot of times after the first night, there was this fight, uh, in a way, a little coup d'etat on the raft. As the soldiers, or some soldiers thought, I'm going to die out here, so if I want to die, I want to get drunk out of my mind and jump to the sea and die the easiest way possible, because they had wine and brandy to keep them alive, keep them alive, it was that supply. So there's a fight over that, and a lot of people died in that as well. Interestingly, the man who started it got knocked in the head, went overboard, and got saved again, and started another fight, and then got killed. After that night, they th after that fight, sorry, they decided to throw all weapons off the raft I only keep one sabre or sword to uh, chop wood or rope or just like kind of a carpenter's kind of idea tool to help fix the raft and improve the situation. And after that there was a sighting of a butterfly, a white butterfly. And there were three things people did. The first one was people thought they were close enough to land so they could swim, so some thought they could swim. Others saw it as a message of hope that they will survive, they are here, it's spiritual, they can make it. And others saw it as a warning of death. And it must have been weird to see that, just the interpretations. So we started thinking about our client and we started to think that we need to, for Jericho to, to I choose ideas what he wants to paint, why he chose the painting he did choose, we had to make these scenes and then so we make them. So we made, our idea is that we have the scene, start off the scene, yeah, we make it, and Jericho talks and it'll find so it goes dark outside, Jericho can't paint it and the uh, survivor, Monsieur Conrad, goes a bit mental and stops talking about the first night and then we get to tell it and then we'll have someone become an officer on the first night talking about it to the people and we'll have a soundscape where we people close their eyes and we'll kind of kind of noise like that and get this storm going, storm brewing. And Jericho will be talking how he's not being the raft, but he's explaining what it must be like, how horrible it must be. So we're building an image in their heads to get them ready. And then we finish that scene, that's what we got. So we are putting towards our clientele to our year nines. Uh, the idea of the first night, what it's like on the raft, so they can try and experience for themselves the harsh and brutal, <laughs> brutal experience in the harsh and brutal tragedy they went on, this awful thing to be in on this raft, and how these people were scared and panicky, and we're trying to get that across towards our audience to understand that Jericho, the painting is not just what the fact of the painting is what Jericho believes is, it's interpretation of it, it's him trying to make a statement that blacks and whites are equal, society is racist, slavery should, not, should be abolished. But we need to get to that point, we need to explore why I didn't paint the first night, 150 people on there, why I didn't paint this fight. And one reason you didn't paint the first night is because you can't capture the individual emotion of 150 people, 147, 120, whoever's left. Whereas you can capture this, the emotion of the last 15, these last few survivors, you can show the cameras and the change of it. So that's why we're doing this and we're pushing this idea, these scenes through. Done.